Okay, so I am doing the firmware update on the Pioneer 8100 NEX the featuring CarPlay. And I had a, a few um, issues trying to do upgrades, and part of it was I didn't really uh, follow the directions. So first and foremost, um, I installed the USB into the port 1, um, and now I finally got past not getting an error. So what I, what I did is the first time I put the USB um, device into the slot, I had just the zip file, just the zip file of the um, the update. And when I and, and it kept on giving me an error that that could only uh, have the update and no other files. So I kind of went back and read the directions. Uh, first and foremost, um, on the USB drive, the first attempt, I just put the zip file on a one gigabyte file, and the directions say you needed two. And I was kind of confused on why you needed two, because the file size was about 200 uh, uh, megabytes. And when I went back and read the directions, uh, it said you needed to unzip the file. So I unzipped the file, and it was over one gigabyte. So that's the reason why you need two. So um, so please wait for a while. I guess uh, things are updating. So uh, a few other things that you needed to do. You need to have constant power to the uh, oh great you need constant power so you don't want to turn the car off and the other thing it did say in the warnings is uh, once you make the update you can't go back so um because this update allows for bluetooth car play uh it's definitely an update that we want to do so failure to update result do not disconnect the usb do not drive the car while doing the update uh, do not turn off the engine and do not restart the product during the update so we are updating from 101 to 103 and we're going to make that start uh, i've got a couple of warnings i imagine if a power failure happens right now i'm probably going to have a bad uh bad update here or a bad device looks like it's going pretty quick 70 percent so once again uh i was a, a quick person to uh, just uh, throw the update on the uh, usb device and make the updates and kept on getting errors i went back to the directions imagine that um, so there are a few tips uh, for you uh, looks like things are going well once again you need to power on how oh, things just shut down there maybe it's doing a restart hopefully okay it did woohoo all right, that is great. So just as a recap, uh, you will want a two uh, gigabyte uh, USB device or a SD card. Uh, to put the SD card in, you hit the open. I'm not gonna do that. The um, unit will slide out and there's a slot for the um, USB, or I'm sorry, micro SD card. Um, the USB, once again, um, here, I don't wanna, fuss with it too much uh, but there I had my cord um, come out uh, you know toward the cup holder and uh, plug that in once again the download from Pioneer is a 200 gigabyte uh, zip file you'll need to unzip that file I did that by right clicking on the zip uh, file uh, that I have a uh, Windows 8 and it came with um, a, a, a zip program that uh, zipped the folder so it unzipped uh, in a uh, the folder was kind of a, a long s a set of uh, letters and numbers but did have the uh, unit number in the pioneer uh, as the file name so I dragged that onto the USB. Oh, I'll mention something about the USB. The USB says that, or the directions uh, needs to be FAT32. Uh, most, uh, if you buy a USB drive in the United States, it's going to be uh, um, FAT32. But you can always right click on that device. So if you plug the USB port, or um, rather the USB stick into a port, uh, go to find that in your My Computer where you would see. Um, uh, your C drive and any other drives. If you right click on that, uh, one of the options is to format. So when the format button uh, or dialog box comes up, 
you have the ability to select FAT32. Mine is a uh, was default to 32. Uh, you were also able to um, rename the device. I just renamed it to, to scan disk since it was a scan disk USB um, um, stick. And when you when you format that, you're going to erase everything on there. So before you do that, you want to make sure you take off all your files uh, and um, then hit the format. That will basically format it, uh, meaning erase everything on it, set it kind of back to uh, factory settings, if you will, or a fresh um, a uh, fresh uh, USB stick. And then I drag the file that was unzipped or the folder rather onto it and you know you've kind of seen um, so far what we're doing it looks like we are at uh, 60 70 percent of the install um, once again keeping power on not driving not sure if you really need to wait uh, the last 25 percent but uh, we will do it anyway and uh, the system probably will do another reboot and all will be good so that is it. Actually, you know what? I think that's it. And if there's any issues, I will report back.